We decided this should be our self-titled record because that's what it's about. It's about us, it's about the band, the way that we've worked together in a way that feels more like a band than, than ever before. Every one of us has been a part of it from the ground up and that's definitely something that's different for this band. This time we all kind of went in together and, and started writing together like in a rehearsal space and um, we had some songs obviously at that point when we were going into the rehearsal space but it was really cool. We did a lot of these songs literally from just jamming together and everyone um, playing and writing their parts and it just made for something really different and cool. I've never recorded in Nashville. Um, it's only ever been New York or LA. It feels like old, like my old life in a lot of ways. It feels like going to band practice at the garage and like yeah. getting together with the guys. There's nothing pretentious about being here at all, which is really cool. I feel like I'm making a record with my best buddy in yeah. high school in our garage. Yeah. I mean, that's how. Except cool it sounds it awesome. Right. It's like you work together and then you're like, oh, it was really fun. And then you come in the next day and hear it after it's all comped together. And you're like, <laughs> Just gonna show you the, the studio and kind of where, where we work and what we do every day. Everybody hates it. <laughs> okay, so this is where we get our coffee and, and hang out when we're not when we're not working. Nice, sweet. And this is the control room where the magic mostly happens. We're in here most of the time. Um, we got my keyboard in here right now because we're tracking something directly on the end of the computer. So. The board, and that's um, actually the vocal booth there that you can see. So, um, Nick and, and whoever's in here can see me. It's really for Nick to see if I'm if I'm feeling it or not when I'm singing. It's a good take. Um, this is our board of uh, songs in progress. Um, there's a lot of working titles still, but you know, just kind of mark off what you've done so you know where you're at on, on each thing. Um, let's see. And this is the live room where it's kind of always in chaos. Um, we did the drums right here. There was another piano here too where I did most of the pianos. Um, but I still use this piano. I'm in here and warm up my voice every day. So this is the vocal booth. So I guess that's that's basically everything. That's That's our whole private lair of studio and um, that's it. So I'm gonna get back to work now. See you guys later. I love the guys, they're all unique for sure. Will is the best drummer. He is so good. We all were in here when he was tracking the drums, just sitting here on the couch facing the, the live room and just watching him and getting so excited. It's, it's amazing. I'm really proud of this record. It's all pretty much recognized when there's something special. I think he and Tim especially work really, really well together. I love Tim. Um, as I said before, Tim's my roommate. I will <laughs> Down here, I've um, been down here for months. We're, you know, in apartments that are next door to each other, and Tim and I are on one side, and the other guys are on the other side. So, uh, Tim and I are real close. I think he's wonderful. He's a very good bass player, very, very good. We're all pretty much clowns when we're together. On the top of this building, there's a room with about 10 pinball machines in it. I love that place. Wait, Wait what's this down? Bar and down down rock. Rock. Just having fun together and being stupid and cracking up. And meet, and according to Tim, paint. <laughs> 
paint. Paint after taste and before taste. It tastes like paint, but it's better than the first one. Terry is always, you know, wonderful. I love Terry. special bond. The creation of a lot of these parts that he's making are, I think, really soulful and, and beautiful as always. It's definitely a natural progression forward for the sound of Evanescence. And Troy is wonderful, you know, he definitely brings something wonderful to the table. He's a great dude, he's one of my favorite people, and he's an incredible guitar player. She is an amazing musician, very knowledgeable about the intricacies of theory and all this stuff, which I know absolutely nothing about them. I learned how to play by ear. She impresses me with her hunger to learn new things. She learned how to play harp on this time in between the two albums, which I think is really cool. She's always expanding musically. I haven't made a record this way where we just, everybody get together, the producer's gonna be there, and we're gonna be writing, we're gonna be writing all together kind of at the same time. That's, that's terrifying to me. I write a lot by myself. Um, and that was still happening, and there were still a lot of ideas happening on our own that we brought and, and worked on together, but it was awesome. The tightest we've ever sounded, and it's the happiest we've ever been, and um, we all like, love working together. It's great. It's, it's the best thing that could happen in my life right now. This is exactly where, what I want to be doing. I think all of us. They were all the guys were just like, yes, finally, we're going back. <laughs> Let's do this. In all real honesty, this is, this is the strongest lineup we've ever had. I think there's some songs on this album that particularly lend themselves to being live and high energy because there's bounce to it. Oh, yeah. So I can yeah, see, yeah. like, you know, playing festivals over in Europe and South America and places like that, I think that we're going to see a lot more movement in the crowd. See the sea of people just bouncing. Where we've ended up is, I think, a really beautiful place. It's it's a great blend of, it's new, it's definitely a new sound, but it, it really is um, Evanescence and all, all the ways that we love Evanescence. It's Evanescence 2011. I think the fans are going to love it.